Well, questions being raised tonight about a new pilot program that'll give migrant families a reloadable prepaid credit card to buy food and baby supplies. All right, it would replace the food boxes given to asylum seekers staying in hotels. Fox 5's Jessica Formoso has more on how it would all work. Some migrant families will soon be given prepaid credit cards to buy food and baby supplies. The mayor's office says the city is partnering with Mobility Capital Finance to launch a more cost-effective program. Right now, the city has contracts with food services who provide non-perishable food boxes to shelters. They will start with 500 migrant families with children in short-term hotel stays. The cards can only be used at bodegas, grocery stores, supermarkets, and con convenience stores. We're just giving this migrant population more free stuff uh, at the expense of New York City taxpayers. In a statement, the mayor's office says in part, quote, not only will this provide families with the ability to purchase fresh food of their culturally relevant diets and the baby supplies of their choosing, but the pilot program is expected to save New York City more than $600,000 per month or more than $7.2 million annually. I'm not going to be thankful that a program that was bloated and inefficient is somehow uh, cheaper to just give away free money to people in the hopes that they feed themselves. According to the New York Post, this pilot program will cost the city $53 million. The amount loaded on the card will depend on the family size. They're deflecting attention away from their incompetency um, and they're not holding accountable the people that had prior contracts. Paramalu is with artists, athletes, and activists. He says the Adams administration is setting up the migrants for failure. Purchasing food at the supermarket is not cheap anymore. And on top of that, they don't have kitchens. So how are they going to purchase the food that they want? The families who get these credit cards will be required to sign an affidavit swearing they will only use them for food or baby supplies. Those who violate the terms could be kicked out of the program. In Midtown, I'm Jessica Formoso, Fox 5 News. All right, shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is, Bahashem, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning He is our salvation, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus a so called black man. And from the video clip that I just showed, you see that New York City is giving their asylum seekers, seekers, you know, a credit card, debit card, should I say, with cash on it. OK, now this was done throughout the other states or other states in America. I know Denver was one and I believe California was another where they do these little pilot programs where they give out, you know, free cash, free money to individuals, you know, to see how they would, you know, receive it and what they will spend it on. But now we're seeing it, you know, go to another level where they're giving these asylum seekers, these migrants that's coming in from other countries. They have given them cars with money on it so that they can spend it for allegedly, you know, food and baby food. And if they have to sign an affidavit that they weren't going to spend it for anything else. And if they do, then what would happen? They would get their money taken away. So you seeing the advent of them handing out free money. Why? Because it's getting you ready or it's getting you prepared for when they roll out with that mark. OK, when they're going to give you what money to incentivize you to come down and take the mark. OK, because why you're going to need it to offset some of the high inflation and interest that's going to be plaguing, you know, America and not just America, but throughout the other parts of the world. OK. Because once this dollar implodes on itself, you know, it's going to have a profound impact throughout the rest of the economy. OK, because why? The U.S. dollar has been known for being the world reserve currency for like the last few decades. OK, going back as far as I believe to 1960 or maybe even, you know, later than that. You know, 50s or 40s. I can't remember when did it take over as being the world reserve currency. But once it implodes on itself and this economy tanks and it goes down to, you know, hell in a handbasket, people are going to need extra money. 
okay? And they're doing these pilot programs to see just how, you know, bad these people will come down and receive this help, this assistance, all right? And now they're giving, you know, aid and assistance to the asylum seekers under the guidelines that, you know, it's going to provide them a way to, you know, feel more closer to their culture where they can go and buy groceries that's more related to what their diet is from their perspective, countries from where they're coming from to seek asylum here in America, you know, which ultimately depending on whether they are of the seed of Israel or not, could be what them receiving salvation, meaning from the missiles or coming to receive judgment, meaning, you know, they're going to get caught up with the missiles. All right. So, They've set up this program where now the asylum seekers can what receive money on a card to buy some of the essential things that they need for as groceries and, you know, needs for their children, their babies. OK, so you see how they giving this free money away, allegedly, and these other people are in, you know, total opposition against that. OK, they are actually saying, why are we giving these new why are we giving us New York City, you know, taxpayers our money to these asylum seekers? OK, but they don't understand it's all part of prophecy. All right. They're going to soon see it, but it's going to be too late. OK, everybody's going to have a chance to receive that extra, you know, cash or that extra money that they, that they handing out to the asylum seekers and other people throughout the country, whether it's homeless people or people that are struggling just to get by. Like Tali Khalib say, just to get by, okay? So they're going to soon see it, but it's going to be too late by that time, all right? So you've seen it, okay? you seeing the play be put into play before the mark actually come, the prelude of them handing out free things, okay? And this is Isaiah 31. And it says, Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many. And in horsemen, because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek Yahweh. Right. So they're going to go down just like these asylum seekers and just like the unfortunately, you know, homeless and the other people throughout these other states who went down and received, you know, assistance or aid or whatever it may be in the form of, you know, pilots that they give out free cash. Because they know this economy is going to tank and it's going to eventually implode on itself. So it's nothing for them to get the people hooked on receiving free things. So once they receive or once they come out with the mark, they're going to be easily acceptable to receiving it. Because why? They've been so used to receiving other free things that they don't know how to, you know, depend on themselves and not just depend on themselves, but trust in their power. If you are of the elect, I mean, if you are of the seed of Israel, that's Yasharallah which is Yahweh, okay? So they're getting the people to depend on them as opposed to seeking Yahweh, okay? So once this thing rolls out, you know, they're going to continue in their lifestyle, which is receiving, you know, free handouts from the government. And it's going to be nothing for them to go down there and stick their right hand out and receive that, okay? So you seeing the play, but you seeing the play being put into position for the people to receive that mark so freely okay these free handouts these free government pilot programs all this is in response to getting you prepared to receive that mark okay when this place crashes and you know you can't afford your rent you can't afford groceries you can't afford whatever it is clothing or whatever it is they're going to have the answer for you okay and all you're going to have to do is go down to whatever local government branch it is. And you're just going to have to receive that mark in your right hand. All right. So you're going to receive it and you're going to be able to get what? Money uploaded onto it, whether it's weekly, daily or monthly. OK, you're going to be able to get it. It's going to be nothing. It's just going to be like a flick of the wrist. And they've deposited that many credits into your you know, your account or whatever it may be called or whatever it may be, you know, that they use to, you know, allow money to be transferred or currency to be transferred onto your, you know, your device, your mark. OK, so you seeing it right here in full time, in real time, you know, play out.
So don't think nothing of it that these migrants, these asylum seekers that's receiving this free cash right now isn't going to take that mark. They're going to take it as well. Revelation 13 and 16 says, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor. Okay. So as much as the poor is going to receive it, so will the rich receive it as well. Those ones that's telling you right now that what, <clears throat> you know, they may look and seem like they on their high horse saying that why are the New York City taxpayers, you know, giving their money over to the asylum seekers, they're going to receive that mark as well. Okay. They're going to need extra money too. Okay. The price of, of living is going to hit so bad that you're going to be searching and scrambling and scratching for extra, for a little bit of extra help. All right. And it's going to be nothing for you to go down there to Egypt and receive it in the form or in the fashion of putting that right hand out and receiving that mark in it. Okay. Isaiah 19 and 2 says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. Okay. And you're seeing it. You're seeing people in contrary to, you know, what they believe is given a, a, a lending hand. You're seeing them what? Complain and argue about it. Okay. You're seeing them just say what? Hey, this is our taxpayer money that we give it, you know, and we don't want to give our taxpayer money over. So they complaining about it, but they're going to go down there and receive it too, no matter what. So don't make no, you know, don't make no mistake about it. They're going to receive it as well. It's just that what they arguing right now, but once they come through those hard times, they're going to go out there and get it too. So it says, and I will set the Egyptian against the Egyptian and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor, city against city and kingdom against kingdom. Okay, so everybody that's opposing this right now is going to accept it when it comes out. All right. And that's just how it's going to be, because it's part of prophecy. All right. And if you're not of the elect, you know, you're going to go down there and take it, too. All right. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, they're giving them the free money right now and they're going to give them their hand in return later on. OK, speaking of that mark. All right, so this won't be long. We're going to close out and go to 1 Peter 5 and 8. And it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, okay? Know the times, okay? You seeing it being put into place in real time that what? They handing out this free money. They ain't giving this free money for nothing, okay? They doing a test. They doing to see how many people are you know, receptive to receiving free things, okay? They know people like to receive free things. And if you give them free cash, you know, that's even better because now they can go spend it on anything they want. They're not, you know, limited to one thing, like a gift card. When you give somebody a debit card with cash on it and you allow them to go spend it however they want to spend it, then they're going to really come down there and get it. That's why they said they have to sign an affidavit saying that they're not going to spend it on anything but what? Groceries and baby food. And how would they know if they spend it on anything outside of groceries and baby food? Because they're tracking them through the card. They're going to know if they go out and spend it and buy clothes and things of that nature, like high-end clothes or buy stuff that you know you shouldn't be buying outside of what you signed up for. They're doing their research. They're tracking. They're seeing just how much these people are willing to, you know, spend it and go ahead and, you know, abide by whatever, you know, laws that they give them. OK, that's why they make them sign that affidavit. They know that, that majority of the people are going to go off on a tangent and, you know, spend it on things outside of what they was given it to spend for. OK. And that's how they know when they implement and roll up their mark that people are going to come down there and put their right hand out to receive it. Because why? People like going and spending and buying things. You know, this country, this nation is known as a consuming nation. OK, we like to buy sneakers. We like to buy cars. We like to buy all type of things. OK, big screen TVs. And when they give you that mark, when they're going to say, hey, we're giving you five thousand dollars this month. Or let me just say, 
we giving you an extra thousand dollars this month, but you got to spend it before the expiration date. People going to come in there and line up and get that. Make no doubt about it, man. People ain't want to people ain't going to want to give up free money. That's free money. OK. So that's why you have to see the signs and know what's going on. You have to know the play. They're not giving away nothing for free. They doing, you know, <laughs> they doing a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They doing a an assessment, I guess you can say, or examining. You know, they doing a research. They seeing just how much people are receptive to receiving free things with what, with uh, with you know, with with uh guidelines, I guess you can say. Okay. They trying to see how much people are receptive to this, okay? Because they know they know they they know they're gonna receive some type of pushback when they do roll this thing out eventually, okay? But through the times that they're gonna create, which is gonna be hard times, people are aren't gonna be able to resist. They're gonna have to come down and get it one way, shape, or another. They're gonna make it where you can come and get it, okay? All you have to do is just come down there and receive, you know, that assistance, you know, and that's gonna be it doesn't matter whether you are rich or whether you are poor. You're going to need to have this one way or another. So don't be, you know, surprised if you see the asylum seekers or the migrants, you know, when they roll out the CBDC, you know, be one of the first ones that, you know, accept, accept that as well. Okay. Now, whether or not the CBDC, when it comes out, it's already, you know, in the form of the mark meaning the RFID or whether they have to, you know, use a transition or a Trojan horse such as the phone to allow you to put the CBDC on it until you get familiar with it and then bring out the mark. But don't be surprised if what? These asylum seekers are one of the first people that they, that they decide to use the pilot with the CBDC because we know what? That for the most part, the people in general they, you know, are pushing up against a CBDC. But guess who won't push up a CB? Guess who won't push back against a CBDC? These asylum seekers. Huh. They're going to take their free money just like they're taking it right now. It ain't going to be nothing for them to take that CBDC. They know the people that have the luxury of having the opportunity or the option to not take it right now will push back against it. But the asylum seekers, they're going to take it. They're going to be so glad. They can spend it wherever they want. And then what? That's going to call division amongst the nation because they're going to see these asylum seekers living good, buying all type of stuff. And they're going to say, how you got that? I got the CBDC. Okay, and that's going to compel most to go ahead and take it. Okay, so you seeing things being incrementally broken down and leading up into that mark. Okay, they setting the stage. All right. Putting it piece by piece together until the whole puzzle is put together. So that's why we have to be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, you know, he knows these things. That's in his nature. He's a cunning hunter. OK, Esau was a cunning hunter. OK, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. OK, and make no mis and make no mistake about it. He's going to devour a lot of people in particular of our people. You so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans, two thirds here in America. You're going to get it no matter what. OK, it's part of prophecy. You're going to bow down and take it. OK, you're going to resist in the beginning. But eventually, whatever it is that he's going to use to starve you out with is going to get to you. And if you don't have the if you don't have the Lord, Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shah on your side, you're going to go down there in Egypt and receive that mark. Make no doubt about it. OK, so with that being said. I pray someone was edified through this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We are almost home. Shalom.